Alright folks, we are back with more Undertale. This is Weather Guy. Um, so far we have been going through this waterfall section, talking to flowers and shit. I passed some sort of musical puzzle that there was no way in hell I was going to figure out, because I can't understand notes. Uh, now we're in front of this fucking castle. So yeah, that's great. Hope you're all doing awesome. And uh, we got this sick umbrella too. And we've been kind of trying to avoid the undying. Oh, do we turn in our umbrella here? Yes, we do. Great. Uh, what do we do now, homie? Yeah? Yes? Oh, okay, that works. Great. Can you still climb up? Alright, well, think... <laughs> You know, that doesn't really get all the constant slipping and stuff. It's very nice and slapstick. Oh, man, I was right next to a save point when I ended last time anyway. I just wasn't sure because the video was starting to go long and I didn't want to make it too long. I try to cut these right at around 30 minutes. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Okay. Well, mercy's the best support, so you better have mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. This is very interesting, this whole humans versus monsters power dynamic where the humans were the more powerful ones and stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, goodness. Yep. Okay, this isn't too bad. Oh, that's kind of a problem. Actually, this is pretty easy. Bum, 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 bum. This way? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, ho, ho, he almost got me. Close. Oh, almost. Honestly, though, what's taking the longest is just trying to find the correct path. This feels correct. Oh yeah, you can tell it's correct because it's the pace. The pace is picking up. I'm getting closer to the exit. Yeah, okay. So it was it was easy at first. Now it, it was a little bit harder, but that's still a pretty easy section. But I might have also spoken too soon and it's gonna get tougher. We'll see. Especially now that I'm at a dead end of some sort. Hello? Do I just back backpedal now? Oh, oh, I'm cornered now. Is it time? No, it's not time. I'm going away. Like the end of Cowboy Bebop where he just falls out the window. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? You okay? Here, get up. That's a nice name. I don't even know how to pronounce my name. My name is Slim Shady. All right. Cool. Piles of garbage. Nice. Love me some garbage. Wow, another safe spot already. That was fairly quick. That was less than five minutes apart. Sorry, I'm reading that. <laughs> Why does that fill you with determination, just looking at a big pile of garbage? Alright. I, I... 
I probably don't need to check all of these, but I just want to make sure. <laughs> you never know. Piles of garbage. Yep, 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 yep. Bicycle. Yep. <laughs> that was a silly honk. <laughs> Great. Garbage. It's a cooler. Nice, see? We did it. Of course we're taking something. Trash. DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks over there. Just looking. You know, I've never been the biggest um, anime fan. I watched some of it, but... Uh, no, not really. Like, I, I, of course, watched Dragon Ball Z growing up. I've seen a lot of the first season of Pokemon and watched a little bit of My Hero... Oh, no! A little bit of My Hero Academia and... Uh, Castlevania. A ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you destroyed their home. Oh, no. Okay. Nice monologuing. I'm sorry <laughs> we took away your cousin's teacher. That's so sad, buddy. You're... It doesn't look like a tough boss, though, does it? Listen to the music. It's silly music. This is gonna be cake. Oh, this... The music's getting pretty good, though. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me! I'm still incorporeal, you dummy! Oh, this might actually be a problem. It reminds me a lot of the Black Knight from, uh, Monty Python. Oh, he, they hit themselves. Okay. So this is fine. Great. So all we do is we keep hitting and then eventually the magic... Oh, wait. He didn't seem to... His health was still full. Alright, let's dodge more attacks. Oh, I can't believe I fell for that. And then come from the bottom. Still full. Alright, let's look at the items we have. I don't think we have any useful items. Ball shoes. Alright, I guess we'll talk. Alright. No one is happy with us. Okay. Alright, so now left. Yeah, and then right. This is a really easy set of attacks to dodge, though, at least. See if this does anything. Okay. Oh, it's get. Whoa. Okay. I can't tell if it's getting closer or not. You know, to death. I mean, there's probably no point in attacking it, but I'm not sure what else to do. Does that make sense? You can tell we're progressing though, because look how much it's. It's, uh, moving now. Alright, so the plan is you gotta line up with it. Oh, okay. I understand. Alright, so I have to get in whatever corner that it's at. So, like, I need to try to get... Is that... Yeah! This is actually a jam, the song is. If you could comment the name of the song, that would be great. That would really be nice, because I want to put it on my Spotify if I can. That would be nice. And I know hitting doesn't do anything, but I'm not sure what else to do with my time. You know what I mean? Please die. Oh, that seems good. Oh, maybe not. It's really just not staying dead. Alright, that looks like it might get some hits in. 
Alright, let's try one of these again. Does this change at all? Yep, yeah, still the same. This is gonna be like the. Oh, damn, I messed that up. Alright, let's try talking again. Still doesn't want to talk. I just don't have the options. Oh, maybe I should try Mercy. Or is that not an option, actually? Hang on. I think they have to actually want Mercy to... Yeah, okay. <laughs> then over here in the corner. Oh, they're, gonna, they're moving. Shoot! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying to spare him until he leaves me alone. Oh, was I not? Crap! This is such... It's like fighting a Metapod or something, you know? Where you just can't quite... get the job done. Oh, hey guys! Oh, we're progressing because this is new. Oh no! They're being replaced! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words, fill the room! Wow, great, great hit. <laughs> Magic missile. Yep. Wrecked, son. This is a fun little fight. He's so, like, whimsical, the way he moves and stuff, and the music just complements that as well. Come on. Almost. Pretty easy fight, though, overall. It's just a little bit, um... Tedious is how I would describe this. Won my fantasy football league, that's exciting. Love that. I'm interested in hearing who y'all are rooting for in the playoffs and Super Bowl and stuff. Or if you're not rooting for anybody in particular, like who you expect to... Uh... Whoa! Who you expect to make it out, you know what I mean? <sighs> Please die. Please die. Oh, what is this? Knives? Okay. <laughs> Only one knives. Yeah, crazy. Okay. Oh, nice, the rain! Hilarious. Yes, finally. Please give me XP for that fight. What? What is going on? Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh, wait. Didn't you attack me before? Uh, that's awkward. Sorry. Have a nice day. Well, I'm going to head home now. Just warning you. So you don't accidentally follow me to my house. You probably wouldn't like that. Okay. Great. Fun little fight. Oh, we got a safe spot. Oh, hey, you followed me. My house is up here, so you probably don't want to come this way. Hope that helps. All right. Save time. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Great. And if you do like this particular Let's Play series, I highly recommend you check out... Um the uh chrono trigger oh there's a duck the chrono trigger let's play because that's another rpg and it's also timeless and everybody seems to love it so and i'm really enjoying that game as well this little bird wants to carry you across okay so this is a shortcut to go back to an earlier part that makes sense north luke acres east hotland Question mark, Temi Village. Okay. 
Uh, what was that again? Bluk Acres? That sounds like a place we can... Well... Yeah, that sounds like a place we can just visit, so let's do that. Da -da. That ghost is just hanging out with some headphones. Yeah, you're totally working. Snail farm. <laughs> The snail's just on a person over there, you see that? I wonder what... Um... Gross. I wonder, um... How many people actually have pet snails and what that life is like, you know what I mean? I mean, I imagine they're not too hard maintenance and stuff, but... They also don't seem super exciting and... A little gross and stuff. They like yucky, even yuckier turtles. Oh, snail race, just like in uh, SpongeBob. Thunder snail, yes. Yeah. Well, it's not really. A game. We're just gambling. Okay. Oh, it is. It is a game. Okay. All right, here we go. Go 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 go! Wow, this is the worst fucking snail I've ever seen in my life. Go ahead, Rocky. You can go when you're ready. Oh, he's gonna explode. 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 Come on. Do something. Do something. Oh. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I was really yelling at it. Let's try this again. Let's be more encouraging All right, so let's just only yell whenever it Needs it so let's do like a couple at the start one two three This is really difficult to figure out the timing. I have no idea how much encouraging I should have been doing. Like when you encourage it, it totally stops. Oh. Oh, it's dead. Or something. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, that was fun. I don't want to spend too much time doing that. Dun, 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 dun. Sad houses. Locked. This is probably that one. Oh, hey, you followed me into my house. Ma, make yourself at home? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. You know, they all just have, like, the Ghostbusters theme on repeat. Their headphones. Yes, we're gonna try a ghost sandwich. Yep. Yep. You know in Spongebob, when Plankton has his digital meatloaf? Same thing. I feel like I wake, make way too many Spongebob references. It was a big part of my childhood. I'm sure you can all relate. To some degree. Shit. I didn't read the rest of the text clearly. I just know it's a family tradition. But you always have to yes and and do what they want you to do. Because the game is hardly ever really trying to trick you. You know what I mean? Whenever it gives you options like this. Like, it's usually not some crazy trap to say yes to things. Unless it's a game specifically designed around those sorts of mechanics. You know what I mean? Like a Disco Elysium type thing. Which is a great game that I haven't finished. Y'all should check out Disco Elysium if you haven't. So awesome. Okay. Great. Anything interesting with the spider web? 
Ga Gula Day music. Play it? Yes, we gotta play it. Okay, that's that's definitely Jingle Bells. Oh, it's still playing? Okay. Oh yeah, let's oh we got two guys to fight. Alright. Oh, is it gonna is it gonna scare them away? I swear the Aaron, the flexing merman, is such a flirt all the time. <laughs> but creep is actually probably more accurate. Oh, good, the music stopped. I was actually kind of getting annoyed with it. Shall we see if this dummy wants to fight too? Oh. Oh, doesn't seem like anyone's home. All right. Well, hang on. We're going to try this a few. Doesn't seem is very interesting phrasing there, right? Like, if you play D&D, &D, that's the sort of thing that the DM tells you whenever there is actually someone home. All right, so let's go uh, east now. We came from the south. West was the duck. Should we put our punch card in here? I feel like we don't need the punch card. And I also feel like I should check out what the heck the ballet shoes are, right? Ballet shoes, weapon at seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Okay. You equipped ballet shoes. Do -do 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 -do. Sorry, that was a little obnoxious. Oh, but you can only have one thing at a time. You can't wear shoes and gloves at the same time. Of course! Makes total sense! Let's double check what the glove does again. Okay. So we don't need the glove anymore. I'm just gonna... Wait, let's see if this is a shop to sell things in. It is, apparently. <laughs> Okay, so we can't go to the village. Oh no, this is so much dialogue! Yeah, it's clearly a super old turtle. Okay, what's that emblem? I don't even see what emblem I'm talking about. Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. Wah ha ha. That's definitely like a Waluigi laugh, you know? Oh, new, new text about it. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. Ooh, interesting. All we know is that the triangle symbolize us monsters below and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. Oh, that's so interesting. I understand. Okay, so we are the angel. We can either be the original prophetic angel that frees all the monsters, or we might end up being the Angel of Death, the Harbinger of Destruction that kills all the monsters. I love that. Well, I'm probably going to kill all the monsters. Even if they are very charming at times. That's just how I am. This turtle! Sorry, I'm, it's early in the morning here. <laughs> this turtle is very relatable is what I was going to say. But yeah, so I, I do these videos early in the morning after I wake up while the kiddo's at school, the wife's at work and stuff, and it's a good time for it. So sometimes I'm quite tired still. King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. Oh, gosh. I don't remember it. Oh, thank God. 
Well, if you come back much later, I'm sure I've remembered it by then. Interesting. We're gonna come back later. I'm gonna make a note of it. Did we ask him about himself? Oh, we did. Yep. Okay. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. I definitely missed I definitely misgender her a lot on accident. <laughs> Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wahaha. -ha. Great. So we have 189 gold. So these items aren't particularly useful, it seems like. Right? They increase how long you're invincible. I guess that means invincible after you uh, take a hit. Alright. Great. Alright, now let's put our glove in there. Great. Dun, 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 dun. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. So that means humans can leave if they have a soul, probably. But if not, I had to kill monsters to get a more powerful soul, right? There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. I see. So we need seven humans to destroy the barrier to free the monsters. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Can I go in the... No, I can't. Okay. Can I talk to the flowers? No. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, interesting. So that's what the light lit uh, mushrooms do. I wonder if I missed that earlier. In that section with the plant bridges. Oh, oh I want. I bet. Oh, okay. I need to go light that other mushroom. Special enemy Temmie appears here to defeat you. Oh, from Temmy Village, right? Which we're kind of looking for. The Temi Flakes. Temi only wants the Temi Flakes. Oh, I don't have... No, so hungry time. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Ow. That's so relatable. Alright, so... Clearly... Feeding won't work. Ah! Whoa! Okay. Oh shit, wrong way. Wrong way. Wait, hang on. Great, I'm a genius. Alright, so we're gonna save here. And then next time, we're gonna... I'm assuming this is Temmie Village. So we're gonna save here next time. Filled with the Temmie... Filled with the Temmie Nation. Okay. That looks like a typo. Anyway. This is a good place to stop right here at what I assume is Temi Village. And oh, that's not a typo. That's fucking uh, determination, but Temi Nation. Okay, I understand. Anyway, huh, we're here at Temi Village. We're gonna come back next week for more of this. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I will see you later. Have a awesome time. Great day. Peace. <laughs>